Welcome everyone. In this video, I will be building a Winestar app connected to an API. This is episode 13 of the App Caliver video series. We are building a the main screen of a local wine app. The wine list I've stored as a dummy API in Mocachino. In this video, I will be connecting the API with the app in the App Caliver to retrieve the wine list. The design is made by Sultan Handaya, and you found more designs at his Dribble profile in the description below. And now let's build the app. Okay, so before we before we do anything, so let's start clean clean up a couple of things, clean that up, save that one. We want the style, so we set the padding correctly so top 24 we cleared this one out we cleared that one out and the bottom we leave to 64 perfectly then we go to advanced and then we switch all of them on and we press save just to make sure that's okay so at the same time let's just um, stop the navigation because I don't want to use, I want to create my own custom navigation, including this, no, and press save. So now we've cleaned all uh, navigation. So let me show you quickly how that looks. So it's completely empty, there's nothing there. Empty screen. And let's continue then building the app. So we start with the navigation, we work ourselves down, so let's start with the top. Okay. So, starting from the top, so get ourselves a container. First container, and that will be the main container. So we build a couple of things around it. For stretching, make sure everything is well aligned, and then the next thing gonna create one in here so control C control V put the one in there and this is where we're gonna build our main thing off and that one is the um, content container so that is where we will put all the content in so and with that we gonna build our we will have a couple of areas the first area we will build as you said is the navigation then the next one is the headline then the next one under there is the advertisements and then under here we then do the special offers great so now we've all done so let's go back to the navigation so navigation in there we have um, two containers we have a container on the left which um, we will call a profile and we also have one which we call icons okay so let's first build the container which will be In here will be the image container. So get that image then. So this is the uh, profile image. Image profile. Um, actually, I use for this um, uh, AI generated uh, images. So. These are people actually do not exist. So um, let's 
go to layout, we'll take the position. Oh, not the position, we take the width. We're gonna set the width for this one. We want to have exact. So we'll be for um, 35 by 35. I think that is perfect. I want to make sure um, it's also rounded, so I have a couple of here, but not the one I'm looking for. So I'm going to duplicate one. I call this uh, profile rounded. And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to set the border. to white, which is not here. So let's add white. FFF gives us white. And then we need to check here custom palette. And then we have our white. So border color that it's going to be solid. And that's going to be four. Save it. And then we set the shape individual all gonna be 40 40 i think we can change now the fully rounded one which is not so let's make them custom Forty. 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 And the last one is also forty. And then we set the width to fit content, and there's our nice image. Don't want a bottom gap, so let's clear a gap. Let's save that one. That one fully grown. Make sure they're all. I think they're all set to standard there, which is great. Okay, so now uh, we've done this. We now kind of set the icons and we will have two icons. Um, one of the shopping cart. So that will be the icon shopping cart. And the other one I set first, so let's just put this one here. We're looking for a shopping cart. I think that's a nice one. Let's set the style for to gray. We then duplicate the one, gives us two. That one would be then not a shopping cart, but this one is a notification bell, so no notification bell and we change this one to notification I mean it's leads bell so let's take that one and then we save both of them okay a couple of things first of all we want them all in one line so horizontal gives them in one line at the same time we want them also to fit so now we have the icons there, but now we want to make sure that everything is on one line. And again, similar kind of thing. We go to layout, horizontal. They are not in in the middle, so let's put them not in the middle. We want them also then stretch them out. Okay, so 
let's fix the style here, which is list header, which should be, and now we have it perfectly aligned. That sits in the middle, so I think we're really nice here. So let's quickly show our navigation and our, so there we can see on the top here. Um, so yeah, so that's the next thing. So now we're gonna work on the text here. So let's work on this text, just to, okay. So we close that one. We take the headline and in the headline would we have first we have two rows so that will be then row number one row one there is a row so let's just do that directly so now we have row number two also row number two and then in row number one um, we have uh, two texts so this is one and let's duplicate that one we have two and then we can do control c to copy that one and we paste it in here so that is hello this one is name and that one is here only so let's go here let's change this to hello this one goes to Antonio Antonio and then the last one is find as we're making a wine look uh, uh, wine store so let's find your favorite oh i think i'm wine Typing doesn't go too well today. Right. Okay. This one, I don't want any left gap, so we clear everything here. We also make both of them. We want to fit the exact size, and that's the same for this one. We will um, lay out oh, with exact size, and it completely nice to each other. I think we're missing the comma the comma is behind the there we go so now we have hello um and then we have a bottom let's clear that one out also yeah so let's change this one i think that one looks perfect i need the color so we need to duplicate this this is the title and uh, we make it uh bordeaux edit text color And then the color for this is four five two nine three B. And we save that one and then we select it. And there it is. And so let's overwrite that style. Press it here. We duplicate this one and we make this now title black so Bordeaux that one I scroll down title black 
and then we edit this one so that one goes to black and we will change let's leave that the same um, font let's make the font weight make it um, light now the only thing you want to have a bit of space space so go back here go back to the top a pixel we probably do like four which is perfect okay so let's look at our design quickly so now we have our Hello Antonio, find, uh, find your favorite wine. Perfect. So that's the bit we, we will later on, we will adjust everything a bit more better. But for now, I think this is great. So let's continue with this one. So now we do the advertisements. Okay, so now let's state, uh, create the advertisements, which the first thing we're gonna do is to put a scroll view in. That's number one. And the scroll view will be horizontal. So let's save that one. And let's put our first our first advertisement in there. So advertisement, advert one. Let's that one shoot if it's the content. And then let's put a image in there. And Let's select that image. And then set. So this is a bit special. I created actually a, um, a, var a page variable called or a constant, which I'm gonna use every bit like 340 long. So a fixed amount, what I'm gonna use for both the advertisements. So that's why I created a variable for it. So if I now go here, image so i'm um, do the set exactly and i'll take that one for my um, page variables and there it is which is great and then let's make it around also so let's make the image rounded rounded will Edit here and we take the this one I wanted to set up myself and the top left is all gonna be the same 20 20 20 and the last one is also 20 so it is now this rounded advert we're gonna now copy this one or duplicate gives us two i don't like that it comes on both ones no we only copy we only um duplicated the image so we don't want to want to duplicate both so we stand on there and then we duplicate gives us two i just want to make sure that the layout is horizontal so it all fits nicely Next to each other, which is, I can see the other image. So let's pick up the other image at the same time. This is a darker red one. And if I now press save, if I now show my app, then you can see, we can see both advertisements with a nice scrolling. So 
perfectly. So that's done also. So now we have our, now we're going to go, now we're going to go to the um, special offers. So let's take, this, let's start building these special offers and these special offers going to look like this. So there's like four, it's a list. And for that list, I actually use a Montgiat, the same as last time. So it's actually a, um, an, a REST API I use, and I use this uh, mock API. So actually, which has all the different data in there. So if I now go here and go to data, there I created this data resource. So if you do create and then do REST API, well, I'll create a new one. Um, it's called wine. This is the location. Oh, this is the location here. That's the baseline. I want to get them all. So I want to create the complete correction wine list, which is the same as this one here. And at the same time, I created this scheme and the scheme has the multi has a description, has a name, has a background image, has a bottle image, has discount and ID and a price. So if I would run the test, we wouldn't see him here. So this, this is like multiple records coming from the API name description. The souls like filled like that. I have like a list of four and which I'm going to reuse now. So let's close this at the same time. So let's create that page variable the data variable, which is here, which is wine. I call it the um, data variable. So I know data variable. It's a collection of this. I don't want this. I don't want to control it myself. So I don't want it to go every five seconds to go there. So I really want to control myself with loaded. So that's why I removed all of this. So now I'm back. Just put this one down. Okay, so let's um, let's start creating that. So let's start with one container. This container will be the um, the title. So that will be the title, and then. Control C, Control V. The next one will be then what is then is for the bottles. Okay, so now we have that bottle list. So again, we want to uh, scroll horizontal. So we add in here. Let me just flip it up. We see a bit more at the bottom also. So again, we want to scroll this. And then in here, so let's just start um, building this first. So we have a bottle list. So again, it's a container. which is a bottle list. So bottle list. We save that one. In there, we have an, a number of things in there. So we have the um, sort of bottle list. So, and we would like to repeat this one. So we look at data variables. Oh, no, not the data variable. We need to go. Yeah, data variables, data variables, and then we take the wine data. So that's now repeating list. And in there, we would like to have a um, so, yeah, so in there, we have the the background so we 
you have to put the container it's all with a squish in a bit I can't have much hopefully you guys can see this it's a bottom here so so this will be then the background and in the background we will have a title the title so let's put the scroll view also here make it horizontal so we see it goes that way so we have the title and the title comes out of the repeat and for that one it's the name so the name that's the first thing then the second thing we would like to put in here is the image of the background so let's take the image of the background which goes under here so that is the background image and again let's take that image again from the repeat so that's the background image which is this one here I'll save that one so if I press save and then the next thing would be then the last one what is the bottle of the image so another image sits there which will be let's move it around so that will be then the bottom and let's save that one too then we'll take the bottle also from here again we'll take the bottle image from there You can't really see it's below below here now, but I think we have all of them now. Okay, so let's just start off first with the title. So that's the first one we'd like to do. So let's go to the name. Oh, let's call it name. So that's the name, the brand name. So let's make this a whole. So let's see if we got a small one. Let's take the the black one. We duplicate this one. We make it small. Press OK. Then we edit it. Give it a bit more space. We don't want to make it. We want to make it white so it's white oh, let me leave it as it is so we can actually see this and we're gonna make this really really small text small yeah and we do the layout we'll center it out and now grow width and we give it an exact size of 90% so let's do a custom and then set width and we don't want to do the whole one so we actually do 90% so that's that little one and then we want to go to style override so we got a little text there i don't want the bottom there and um, we press that one there then at the same time so we're, we're, we're working here so the title so you want to get the title inside there so we do an absolute no what's the title Go to the bottom position we make it absolute 
gives it in there. Oh. And at the same time, you want to make a high number. So we can see it. The only thing we don't see is because of the color, we don't see it. So let's go back to the style, edit, and now actually set this white. There we go. And we probably want to make it actually light also. Normal, that's better. Okay, in there, I would like to center it in the middle. So let's center everything in the middle. There we go, everything in the middle. So, start working on the bottle list. With the um, bottle list, I would like to set a exact width. In this case, it's going to be 100. And at the same, oh no, we actually can do, let's do this one. Set the width exactly to a hundred and we grow the height which is fine we press save and after we've done that we also want to make sure because we want to have this overflow effect so let's first do the bottle and then you see what i mean So the bottle, we say a custom one. We want the bottom to be exactly to be, say, 80. We also fit content. Then we make it also absolute. There's my bottle now. But now I want to push the bottle a bit down. So, and I do it from the top. So, and now I want to make sure that it's also in, the, it's nicely aligned in the middle. And there we go. And we press save. Okay, um, I, so let's make sure the data is actually is loaded also. So if we go not here, go to variables and then data variables. And I did a bit too much in the last one. I, I just the only thing I don't want to, that kind of thing. So, so now everything is reloaded correctly. So if I then variables, I go here, go here. I'm just going to don't want that one. Bottles. And I want to make this horizontal and then we we'll save and then So now you see that if you look at the look at the, it does not work here. The um, the bottle is still missing. So how would we solve this then? Um, there's one option we can do is actually to increase the padding of the list item. So let's create a new style for it. So we'll take the default. We duplicate this one, and it is called it bottle list. We edit this one and we do a padding on there from, let's say 80. You can see it really comes along here. So if we now save this and now have a look, we see this is now nice. The only thing we need to do is to change the bottles and the, and the colors, but for us it looks okay. So let's start to do that. So I'll, I'll take you along because we can do this right from here. So let's take the title, the headline from here. It's the name. We'll save that one. And if we press save, that's the title. 
we'll take um, the background image again we'll take the same thing we'll take the background image we save this one and then if we press save there we go the nice little ones and then the image portal of the of the bottle we can do the same thing so that will be oh where is it it's the bottle of the image we'll save that one and now if we look we actually have all those different types of bottles now which is great it was exactly what we wanted so so that's cool so let's finish this one off so we still need to do this title so let's put text in there that would be then we call this uh, find uh, we call this um, special over so call that a special offer save that one a special offer we just want to make it a bit smaller so we'll take that one Get the special offer and then we want to do an icon also make it gray um, we want that to be all in one line again so horizontal gives us there the only thing now is to, is to change the icon style and that let's go i think it's ellipse yeah there we go that one and then press save so that gives us that um, ellipse so now let's build um the um so let's then build on the bottom see the main menu here so let's build that menu out now and i think so let's start it because i can't really see enough space here so what i do i, I normally just start at the top then so i'm gonna put it on the top this will be then um container for the bottom menu and we'll save that one and then we have a container here in here this is then the icons and then we have the icons um, this icon is the home one so the home one will duplicate the style, make it uh, enough bottom icons. Do we just want to make it black and let's make that nice and big so let's do a double xl mm, that looks a bit too big let's do a xl xl overwrite save that we got one so let's duplicate this one one two and three So that one is search and then the last one is I think it's called profile or user there we go take that one we um, save them we'll put them nicely onto 
horizontal and we also want to put them in the middle so there we go then for that one it's the same layout in the middle what i'm gonna do then is this one fit content so and now we spacing on both sides so let's take this one just a bit more so 64 oh that's a top we don't want to have a top so clear that one so 64 and on the other hand we also do 64 so 64 64 this is the menu there then the only thing I want to make sure that this one we duplicate this one and this is white menu bottom I just because the background is a bit off so I'm just gonna do white so Put this one on the top. We'll save that one. And if I then look at there's the menu, see this little white. So we need to do a bit of uh, a bit of um, padding to actually to do for both sides. So let's do that first. So let's this one here we'll back in here so we do bed thing the bottom now let's first do a bit on the top so let's do 16 on the top actually do both 16 and we'll save that one I think we can do a bit more at the bottom 24 is probably better and press save that one okay so if i now look you see this nice little bottom we have a nice icons now on the bottom we can rotate here i think the only thing we need to do now is everything looks nice so let's do that last thing is to so let's go um we start at the top so that one layout horizontal and we're gonna start to do um 16. so let's all of them actually both sides i want to do 16. 16 on both sides we'll save that one so that's the top one then the headline again we do the same thing 16 and 16. For the this one we only do it on the left side because we don't we still want to do the scrolling correctly so there we go let's press save um we then go in the this one we need to because we need to need that one to do 16 both sides 16 and 16 we'll save that one and then the last one what is the bottles we'll take that on the left side also and we press save and i think that looks kind of exactly how we built before i think we need to have a bit more space on the top so let's do that um padding so let's make this 28 and save that one and there we go i think we can do 32 to make it 32. there's a bit more space on the top i think we have too much at the bottom now so we can then take this one and a bit a notch Ooh, let's see how far that one is. Oh, 
I think this is perfect. So I think we finish it. So that way, and we do that way. So thank you all for um, watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. From it. Um, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe. If you want to see more of these videos, if you like it, just click the like button. And if you want to get a notification when a new video drops, then click the little bell button. And then I wish you a very nice day, wherever you are. And stay curious. Bye-bye to the next video.